oft contested designation of Pluto as the ninth planet is back in the news again today. The California Institute of Technology published a study claiming they have discovered a true ninth planet beyond Pluto. For the first time in 170 years, evidence of this ninth planet was found on the far edge of the system. Astronomers at, this, at the California Institute of Technology have not directly seen it yet but they think it's up to 10 times bigger than Earth and 20 times farther away than Neptune. Two scientists at Caltech say they've discovered a ninth planet in the outer corners of our solar system. It's pretty exciting to know it's out there and waiting to be found. Two years ago, we realized that there was something funny going on in the outer solar system. Well, these orbits are, are showing us, they're showing us sort of a gravitational one-way sign towards the existence of an additional body. These researchers say for the last 13 years, a handful of objects have been found by other astronomers, and all of these objects swing in the same direction. That can't happen by chance, so we knew something funny was going on. Many may remember Mike Brown for his role in demoting Pluto as a planet about a decade ago. What's the evidence that it's there? So the evidence is that we can look at objects orbiting around our solar system and figure out why their motions are the way they are because of the gravitational influences of everything else around. So we looked at a small group of objects newly discovered and realized we couldn't actually completely understand their motion. However, if we insert into the equation about that an object about the size of this planet nine, everything then worked out perfectly. So that's what gives the suspicion that it really does exist. They can't exactly see this thing from a telescope or, or anything like that. Instead, they are using data about uh, how other objects as far out as Pluto uh, are, are reacting and moving out of alignment, getting out of its way. So data like that actually suggests a heavy gravitational pull, which primarily comes from things that are, are qualified to be called planet. Uh, but they do have two giant telescopes on two different continents searching for the physical evidence of this thing's existence. Right now, the best that they can say is that something really, really, really big beyond Pluto exists because space rocks are moving out of the way. Um, as well as it's causing misaligned positions uh, among the outer planets. The orbit of other celestial bodies seem to re be responding to something. What that is, nobody can actually confirm just yet. It's, it's so far away that even though it's big, it's very, very dim and it'd be very tough to spot with a telescope. I'm also fascinated at the idea that this planet could be so far out there and still our sun be the mass that is keeping it in the gravitational pull of our solar system. Right, right, yeah, but no, that's, it's true. That's incredible. And so there was a thought at one point from scientists that when they thought that there was something beyond Pluto, that it might have been all the mass of objects floating in the, in the Kyber belt, but it's not. Right, so, so the, all those objects are out there and they have a lot of mass, and originally the scientists said, look, a planet is such a crazy idea, <laughs> maybe it's the Kuiper Belt itself that's pulling it on, on itself and making these, these orbits look funny. And they ran simulations and they tried to make that work and it didn't work, it mm. just didn't work. There's not enough stuff out there. So you don't see it, but you said it's all about the numbers. So two scientists are playing around with numbers and they think what? They think, huh, this doesn't add up. Yeah. We need to ask some other folks to take a look at this for us and tell us if we're crazy. And sure enough, that's what they did. The Caltech astronomers looked at the number and said, you know that idea about there being another planet? That's not a crazy idea. It looks like it's really possible. So now what they'll do is they'll let this information out to the rest of the astronomical community to try to help figure out what's going on, to make sure that everything's correct. And now they'll also do the observations. And, and some have already stepped see. forward to say they're convinced. Well, it is. It, it, uh, it, yes, they are pretty well convinced now they need the visual evidence to back it up because, yeah, as I said, the numbers yeah. don't lie. But the critics of this study say that it's possible that this, uh, this large body is simply an ancient core, an core of a, a gas giant that was ejected out to the farthest reaches of the solar system thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. What does this tell us about our solar system? Well, one thing it tells us is that we don't really understand it as well as we thought we did. <laughs> And another is that it probably had a very violent beginning. This thing was probably formed much closer in and then flung out, maybe in a close encounter with Jupiter or something. You mentioned that scientists haven't seen it yet because of how far away it is and right. how dim it is. Is there a way for them to get visual evidence? Yes, so, so the biggest telescopes in the world can theoretically see this thing if they're looking in exactly the right place. And with the publication of this new paper today, uh, they are now going to start to look in earnest. 
But Batygon and Brown are not the first to claim that they've discovered a new major planet beyond Neptune. In fact, the hunt for Planet X has been on for over a century. But every promising claim has ultimately been shut down by scientists. That hasn't stopped Batygon and Brown from going public with their theory. Hi, I'm Jim Green, Director of Planetary Science at NASA. Last July 14th, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto, capping a half century of exploration of our solar system. It piqued our interest about what lies beyond Pluto and what can we learn about ourselves and the origins of our solar system. The idea of a new planet is certainly an exciting one for me as a planetary scientist, and I think for all of us. The January 20th paper in the Astronomical Journal is fueling our interest in planetary exploration and stimulating a healthy debate that's part of the scientific process. I couldn't be more pleased about what's happening. You know, it's all about starting the process that could lead to an exciting result. It is not, however, the detection of a new planet. It's too early to say with certainty that there is a so-called Planet X out there. What we're really seeing is an early prediction based on modeling from limited observations. What's exciting is that, like NASA's journey to Mars or New Horizons flyby of Pluto, you will have a front row seat to see how the scientific process unfolds. Theories like this serve to stimulate ideas and conversation. They tap into our innate curiosity. It's important for us to continue to work, and we will. Anytime we have an interesting idea like this, we always apply Carl Sagan's rules for critical thinking, which include independent confirmation of the facts, looking for alternate explanations, and encouraging scientific debate. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. Or we'll determine an alternate explanation for the data that we've received so far. Or we'll determine an alternate explanation, determine an alternate explanation for the data that we've received so far. So I say to people, wake, wake up. up. Wake up.